Okay, I'm now about to um, put in all the rest of the ingredients. I already added the baking soda and baking powder. I'm now about to add the garlic cloves. I don't work with roasted garlic or um, fresh garlic only because I just don't have it on hand right now. So I'm going to use the garlic that I have on hand and it's just this type of garlic. And hold on a second. So if you notice that my clothes don't fit, it's not because I'm sloppy, it's because I've lost a lot of weight. And the reason I've lost a lot of weight is because of um, I take Ozempic. And I didn't realize how much weight I lost until I looked at the side and none of my clothes fit. And I need to start buying new clothes immediately. Last time I got on the scale, I weighed a circle. I weighed over 350 pounds. I weighed in at 375. I now weigh in at 280 pounds. And I, did, I didn't even see the weight fall off because I wear a lot of stretchy clothes. So I bought a pair of jeans and I wear a size 20. So yeah, down from a 28. But that has nothing to do with this. We're making falafel. So it says the recipe calls for three to five garlic cloves. So one teaspoon equals one garlic clove. So we're gonna put in five of those because I like garlic. Two, three, four, five. So there's the garlic. And now we're gonna add in some one and a half tablespoons of chickpea flour. I don't have a half a teaspoon. Here's the six-year-old. He's probably going to put random stuff into this chickpea mix. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. So I don't have a half a teaspoon, but I know a teaspoon is three tablespoons. Please stop mixing it. Please stop mixing it. I just need to put this in. So a tablespoon is three teaspoons. So one and a half teaspoons which is a half a teaspoon please stop I need you to stop and one teaspoon is equal to a half a tablespoon so please stop I just asked you to do that again and thank you to your dad yeah I have the chickpea flour so we're gonna be putting that right back away please stop I'm not gonna ask you again you can take a seat right there that's why I have chairs in the kitchen so, as you can see with weight loss, I have not lost any breast. And when I went to go get a reduction, they told me I needed to lose weight for the reduction. And they denied me the reduction because they said, I'm going to lose my breast when losing weight. I said, you don't know the bodies of all women. Some women, like myself, have been blessed with breasts since they were 13. We're going to sit down. And I have been a double D since I was 13. And I haven't lost one bit of breast tissue since my weight loss journey. That being said, when I went back to plastics and told them I still need a reduction, they had a nerve to tell me that one and three teaspoon, one and three quarter teaspoon salt, uh, iodized salt. So they told me that, oh, well, you're just a separate case. We're going to sit down. And a three-fourths of a teaspoon is a quarter and a half. So there you go. And one teaspoon. So that's the salt. Can you go get your iPad? Because you're touching too much stuff. You did not ask to touch anything. You did not ask to be in on this. So that being said, it is not time for your medication and it is not time for you to be touching things. I will let you help. You can throw this away into the recycling. Thank you. So that's how life goes. Can we take a seat where I ask you to?
Would you like me to put your chair right here so you can sit down and be involved? Yeah. Thank you. You do that. So, now we're going to go with two teaspoons of cumin. Oh, that's coriander. How many... How much coriander? Oh, one teaspoon of ground coriander. So we're going to do that one first. I need a cooking book. Yes, honey, I am. But you see that already. I just realized that. I know. And we're going to be doing this. And now we're going to do two teaspoons of cumin. I don't know any of these ingredients. I'm okay. calling them out for you. And the reason I call them out is because I have to call them out as I go. Alexa, can you please stop? Thank you. Alexa, stop. Thank you. So now we're going to mix that in. I love mixing, by the way. I know you do. That's why I want to be a food chemist. You want to be a food chemist? Well, I think you should be just a regular chemist. Now, we already have the coriander in here. We're going to go to a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Pepper? And, I yep, know that. That's one quarter teaspoon of pepper. Now, we probably need to mix that real good. Uh, yeah, we can mix that in. We don't need to mix it real good. And after we get the pepper, we're going to get the cayenne. And while we're on that, we're going to refill the cayenne. Uh, so, you have a whole thing of cayenne? Yeah, I need a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Please stop shaking that. Video. Yeah, but this one isn't for YouTube, and it's not about macaroni and cheese. Or beef and broccoli. Or beef and broccoli, or shrimp and broccoli. This one's about... Chickpeas. Falafel. Falafel. Oh, wait, did you already bake the chickpeas? Yes, I soaked the chickpeas overnight, and I put it on my TikTok so everybody else... If they wanted to, could they have can make done it. it with me. The chickpeas or gar garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans. Yes, sir. Wait, those and are the, the cardamom. Thing. Wait, those are the same thing? It says a pinch in my recipe book, but we're going to go with an oh, eighth what? of a teaspoon. So. Ah, I think so. That got my eyes. Great. That's outstanding. Cardamom is not a burning spice, but this cayenne pepper kind of is, so please be careful, kid. Okay. Whatever you say, Mama. Okay. I didn't know you had a whole thing of cayenne. Yeah. I didn't actually add it. Yeah, we're, we're not doing that. We're, we're not being that funny. Okay. Can you put this back in the refrigerator? And cumin. Hey, hey there. I can refill you too. Okay. Don't worry, I am checking expiry dates. This one says 2025, so we're good. And it's 2024. Right, we're good till next year. And I make enough of this stuff. That got on my hand. Recycling, honey. To last for a year? No, I make enough of this stuff. And use cumin, because remember every winter I make chili? You do? The chip. Well, you don't eat it. Everybody else in the family eats it. Except me. Is that hot? I can't let you taste this because it's not cooked. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of people don't understand. Well, a lot of people do understand and a lot of people don't know. You're not supposed to eat uncooked flour. You only have a the few. You are not that. supposed to eat uncooked flour. So, once this is done, it is now... All the ingredients inside. 